Baby, man, what's going on with it, bro? Chilling, my man. Can't call it feeling blessed. How about yourself? I'm good, man. We got the um, clothing line just dropped yesterday. You showed everybody on Twitter what's going on with it, man. Push Network. Push Network's win the making. We're going global. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure y'all check out the updates, the new releases, different, you know, different ways, different color waves, different schemes. Mm -hmm. But uh, I got some big, big, big things coming soon to the streets. To the internet, to right. whatever you want to call it. I got some pop up shops, some fashion shows. I want to get in a mix with, you know, helping other vendors build their brain. All right, how so, you build yours? So, you did. We we actually doing real good right now in the network. Mm -hmm. now, now, saying that, how long has the process been from you from the beginning to get it, just getting it out um, yesterday? Uh. I actually got everything down packed now, so when I want to release something, it takes me about two, three days. But if I really want it released to the streets on time, mm -hmm. it takes me about four or five hours. So all my work is really like dedication type work. Like all my labor work is real hard. I take my time, I do everything mm -hmm. on key. I put all my love into my work. So I hope everybody get a chance to really like check it out get a chance to purchase some things not even if it's expensive things i got little 25 dollars items i got 20 dollar items so y'all make sure y'all get on that mm -hmm. not saying that is this your first go around with the clothing well actually i started my clothing line in 2013. Mm -hmm. it was my brother's clothing line because at that time you know i was into the sports i was in high school right. i ain't had a big income as him so around 20 i want to say 2014 ish 2014 is 2015 is I made about $300 I spent half of my money I got down to like a hundred dollars left mm -hmm. so I locked myself in the room I'm like this is my last hundred dollars either I do something big with it or I lose so I sat around called my brother up I'm like you know I sign if I take the clothing line off your hand you know become the CEO put my name on the copyright papers did it like that and I went from there. Mm -hmm. Now, um, what was the name still Push Network back then? Nah, it was called Push. It was regular. It was mm -hmm. called Push Regular. My brother, he was into it, but he wasn't really into it because. That wasn't his man priority. Yeah, it wasn't his man priority, but he wanted, he saw, he had a vision for it, mm -hmm. but he just couldn't do the things he really wanted to do because he was in college, he was working, he mm -hmm. was doing other things. You had so more time for it. I had more time, so I made it to Network because. I want to be more noticed than just New Orleans. Mm -hmm. I want to go to Houston. I want to go to Atlanta. I want to go to Vegas. I want to go to Kansas. I want to go Colorado. I want to go to Cali. I want everybody to understand when I show up, my brand, I'm here to right. spread work. the love and get it done. Definitely not saying that. Why the name Push Network? Why Push? Push meaning pray until something happens. Mm -hmm. Everybody understand Push is just a short term of praying till something happened. Right. Uh, I came up with the praying till something happened with my grandmother. I have a big, 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 big blessed grandma mm -hmm. on praying. All she do is pray, pray, pray. So she used to always tell me when things get hard, just keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Mm -hmm. Then one day I just went to church and uh, the pastor just was like, we all got to push. We just need everybody to pray until something happens, good things happen. So it just stuck with me, and I ran with that. One got a copyright, it paid for it to be under my man, under my name, so nobody else wouldn't take it and run with it. So mm -hmm. no. Push became a real brand in 2014. Now, um, definitely, man, that's big. Now, saying that, what do you feel, Um, I guess, being in New Orleans is the biggest challenge for you to spread it out to New Orleans first? That was a good question. Being in New Orleans is the most biggest challenge because mm -hmm. I don't want to talk down on anybody, so I'm going to try to see this right. Being in New Orleans is the most biggest challenge because most people mm -hmm. feel like giving credit or giving props or showing love, no disrespect or no, excuse my language, they feel like giving props or showing love is called dick riding. So, it's really hard to express your feelings to another in the city of New Orleans because mm -hmm. you don't want to be called out your name, you don't want to be called a dick rider, you want to be called a wave rider, but it's actually really called support. giving credit, support, showing love, spreading love. So 
living in New Orleans and building in New Orleans is like the hardest obstacle. Like people don't understand, coming out in New Orleans is like the biggest challenge you could get. Mm -hmm. Cause tomorrow ain't promised. First of all, in New Orleans, you can be to yourself 24/7. You could be a self person. You could be doing good. But they have this one, two, three people that just don't like you just because you're doing things that they're not doing. So you don't know if they want to kill you. You don't know if they trying to set you up. You don't know if they want to rob you. So living in New Orleans and coming from New Orleans and building from New Orleans is the biggest challenge. And I want to give a big, big P's and Q's to everybody. If you're doing something in New Orleans, stay focused. It's going to get hard. It's going to get hard because we have a city of crabs in a bucket. But also we have people in the city that's willing to stand behind you and support you and give you love and care you need. So I'm not going to judge the whole city based off the bad apples. So mm -hmm. if you're in New Orleans and you want to build your brand or build whatever you want to do, I'm just going to let y'all know everything not easy. You just got to fight through whatever you got to go through. Keep going, keep processing and praying. All right. Now, um, a lot of people with clothing lines, they say... I guess black people in New Orleans, they ask for discounts from people who they know, but when they go to big stores such as Gucci, yeah, they, they don't ask them. Well, how do you feel about that, man? Well, the crazy thing about that, man, my mother just was talking about that. Mm -hmm. A person would know you would work your ass off. I could start on a pair of jeans at 3 a.m. and don't get done to 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you could witness me work that long and your work would be perfect. You could love your work. Then when it's time for you to get it from me and receive it from me, oh well, bro, we've been cool. Mm -hmm. If it's a hundred dollars, can I just give you forty-five down or uh, things like that? Which I don't knock nobody, cause now the point of my clothing line, I want fashion things to be for a low price. I want you to be able to come shop with me, mm -hmm. look good, and still have money in your pocket. My object is not to take all your money. So, long story short, the point of people always wanting discounts or wanting handouts, but want to pay tax plus more right. to these designer brands that they never gonna get a chance to meet that they don't even know the story behind them right it really hurts because it's like bro if you say you support me or you you know if you down or you behind me why not support me 100% because that means that you your, your support you might be the one that helped me blow up right now that I didn't blow it up now I can give you 50% off right I can give you 40% off. I could give you, let you purchase something, give you free things with your purchase. Definitely. So, yeah, that type of stuff, I feel like people that always ask for discounts or handouts, they're supporters, but they're not 100% supporters. Mm -hmm. Does that ever get discouraging? Like, man, he can't even do that for me. I've been working so hard, man, and he ain't really behind me like he say he is. Man, it's just that when you get in the entrepreneur yeah. business of being your own boss and CEO, you're gonna get called bitches. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get called hoes, people gonna dislike you, and you know, you're gonna fall out with a lot of people that you thought was your friends. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it's business. Nobody right. can't take anything personal. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, speaking on, speaking on 100% support, I won't introduce one person who's been supporting me since 2013. Mm -hmm. Never asked for a discount, never asked for a free shirt. He actually used to give me free things and still purchase everything for a full price. So I won't walk him over here right quick. Mm -hmm. Come here right quick, Chris. Come here right quick, man. I'm just gonna be in that quick second. You did? This is my guy right here. What's up with you, man? What's up? I'm chilling. Nah, I, I can ask you one question, dog. Why, why you support them 100% all the way through? You never ask for a discount. Real recognized, real. Mm -hmm. Support the city. Yeah. Well, I don't support who Facts. Definitely. So this, I want to let y'all know, this man had a shirt that that nobody has in the city right now at this moment. He have a shirt that nobody has. Exclusive. It came out in 2013. Well, I'm thinking, yo. It came out in 2012. I'm supporting. The shirt still look brand new. Mm -hmm. well, I'm supporting. But now, nah, long story short, this is one of the guys who stayed solid, stayed loyal before I even got to the brand of that I am now. Mm -hmm. He always told me, you know, stay focused. But I couldn't buy the expensive shoes. 
He let me see his shoes the whole day. He, he let kill. me, you feel me? Mm -hmm. He let me see his shoes to go to school. And so, I don't, you know, I don't mind saying the struggle was real. Right. I'm not going to say, oh, I, I struggled all my life. Nah, because my mama was in my life. But having what I want on my own, I did struggle. So, he was one of the guys that branched off to show me that, you know, material things ain't everything. You know, Never. he used to have brand new shoes and just... Take these shoes, go play basketball. And he only been a warm one time, but now we can't do that. I wear a size third, and he wears a size seven and a half. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not saying that, man. What a clothing line. What, were, what you felt was your biggest moment so far since I guess you really got it off the ground? Well, my biggest moment, mm -hmm. I actually had opened up a store, but it was a co a co opening, so it wasn't fully my store. Mm -hmm. But the vision that I saw when I was in the store. It, it brought so many blessings to me to see that somebody wanted to give me a chance mm -hmm. to put my work into a real professional business. Like, mm -hmm. it came to the point where I could lay in bed and people would be shopping at the store. So, that's one of the biggest, biggest, biggest blessings that happened to me since I done started with the Push Network. I think, I think his biggest thing happened is him starting the career. Mm -hmm. right. Starting his own clothing line. That's it, the biggest thing. Being his own boss. He wouldn't have that story if he wouldn't have had that. Definitely. Right. Now saying that, what you feel was, I guess, your lowest moment. That was your biggest moment. What was your lowest moment? Have you ever thought about, oh, I won't do it no more, man. It's getting Going up. broke. Going broke? Going broke. How you bounce back from that? Putting out thousands because people complain so much about material. Mm -hmm. But they want me to get good material and they want to pay for bad material. Right. So, starting from somewhere, I started with regular material. Oh, Ace, I support you. I like it, but my shirt strength, my shirt fade. Mm -hmm. So I went up another level. I had to pay more hundreds. So <laughs> the more I put out, the more I invested, the more I lost because money I was them. I was so focused on pleasing people that couldn't be pleased, and not focus not focusing on the people who really wanted to be pleased. So. I put my pride to the side and I I was willing to lose friends, I was willing to lose family, Got I was to. willing to lose my girl or my girls, whoever I was at, with at the moment, and I focused on my brand and myself. Then mm -hmm. I went from having nothing to having a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Now what you feel with sacrificing you, most of us to keep going with the business? Separating. 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 I had to sacrifice. I wouldn't say I need people, but I'm a people person, so people people push me you feel what i'm saying mm -hmm. so people always lifted me but when i realized i had to sacrifice myself with spending time with myself and spending time with people that wanted myself to be great mm -hmm. i had to lose a lot of people that i really thought was my friends mm -hmm. but it's no beef or no enemy or no love loss it's just not it's we was here and we just like this now right. but, when I see him in the street, I get a chance to speak to him. You know, I try to spread love, let him know the love still there, but it kind of hurts that you know that I can't hit him up, hang out because they don't want what I want. Mm -hmm. I don't want the fast life, or I don't want the easy life, or I don't want the handout life. So, me being different from them, I don't have the things that they have because I don't want to. I don't want to. How I want to put. I don't want it. I don't want it to be given to me. I want to like work, for, work it. for it. I want to earn it. So I, now I'm at the moment of earning everything I want. Now I, now I can buy six, seven hundred dollar shoes and things like that, and don't think about it in the morning, which I still feel like it's stupid. <laughs> but I feel like I deserve something to myself. You feel me? After that hard work. It is stupid because at the end of the day, I can pay fifteen hundred for one pair. But at the end of the day, when I unstring them and take them off, it's still a pair of shoes. All right. So another thing I want to give y'all heads up on: don't go broke trying to stay in the fast lane. Definitely. Stick to your lane. Be yourself. You could be a five-dollar nigga and be fresh as a thousand-dollar nigga. You just have to know how to put your 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 entourage. Uh, uh, not your entourage. Not your entourage. <laughs> yeah, you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get this word out. Get no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Let, me, let me see. Hold up. Give me some time, y'all. Wardrobe. 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 You just gotta take your time with putting your wardrobe together and you could be fly as a million dollar nigga. Definitely. Now, right now, you got a um, shirt on for yourself. What would that shirt cause anybody who want? 
who wants to know, man? If y'all would wanted to buy this polo style Tiger Wood, classy, professional, mm -hmm. this business look, mm -hmm. you know, mine just a little, because I didn't swim in this. It's just that good material. Like, you can pull it. <laughs> it ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere. But uh, y'all guys can find this on my Instagram, baby mm -hmm. underscore 17, for a low price. Uh, I think these $30 mm -hmm. by it being a collar shirt. Definitely. And it's good material. It's not strengthening, it's not fading. So you can find these, find these on my Instagram, baby underscore 17 today. Mm -hmm. They're available. I do drop offs I ship around the world for a low shipping price. Uh, you can find them on the site also for just $30 on it. So y'all guys can contact me. If I don't get to y'all inbox, as soon as possible, please don't think I'm ignoring y'all. Please, please, no, I don't think I'm too much. I just be having so much I'll be doing. And my phone broke too. My phone broke. Definitely. So now, now, right now, what's your favorite, Um, I guess, set of clothing that you designed yourself? What's your favorite? The jeans. The I've jeans? been going real crazy with them jeans. Mm -hmm. I've been surprising myself. I did <laughs> a pair of jeans last night. Ah, people don't even really retweet nothing I do. They just, they probably be too strong. So if I post some jeans on Twitter, mm -hmm. people are DM me like, oh, them nice. Instead of just saying it out where <laughs> everybody can say it. But I just be like, all right, thanks. But last night, I must have really released some nice, nice jeans because I'm mm -hmm. almost up to 100 retweets. Right. And I never got that on my clothing line. It'll be, people show love and quote things, but I'm almost up to 100. Also, when I hit 100, I'm going to be raffling up a free full set. That's another thing I do. I love to give. I love right. to give. I love to give. So, also, y'all can follow my Twitter, Anthony. A underscore Milton, M-I-L-T-O-N, 17 also. Y'all can find the retweet. Y'all go retweet. As soon as they hit 100, everybody can DM their name. I'll be doing a raffle. I'll be giving away a full set. Shirt, hat, pants. <laughs> if you're a female, body suit, bathing suit, jeans, whatever you may want. So y'all go do that. Retweet, retweet, retweet. Now definitely, man. For um the young entrepreneurs such as yourself out there, what's some advice you could give them a... Uh, not too much of your game or your strategy that can help them getting it off the ground right now. Come see me. Come see me. That's all I can tell y'all. Come see me. Right. I don't mind spreading love. Come see me. Yeah. I don't want to say too much for y'all on camera because we're going to have people that don't even really do it. They're just going to play with it. Definitely. Feel me? So y'all come see me. After this interview, y'all can come see me. Because I'm pretty sure my guy going to make sure this interview all pieced up to where y'all get the main ideas of this whole interview. So, yeah, when y'all see this, come see me. Definitely, man. Now, um, do you have any moves coming up in a soon future? Yes, sir, I have. Also, I'm, a, I'm my own promoter. I throw my own events, too. So, yeah, I got a big, big, big pop-up shop. Mm -hmm. Self-made pop-up shop. It's going to be my first pop-up shop on my own. My own pop-up shop. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not doing vendors this pop-up shop. Why? Because it's like an anniversary to myself. Because I used to ask people to get in their pop-up shops. They never ever wanted to really like let my work get in it because I started from the bottom, so my work wasn't always great. Mm -hmm. But they still could have, I think, feel like they could have given me a chance. Mm -hmm. When I asked everybody how to do this, everybody just read my DMs. Left Nobody me on the scene. Want. Yeah, left me on scene for sure. So this pop up shop I got coming in August, right before school. Right. I'm going to have book sex with my logos on there, binders with my logos on there, <laughs> clothes. I'm even putting my school uh, logo on school shirts, small in the inside. So yeah, you still be rocking print or something happens somehow. Right. I wouldn't get y'all in trouble putting my logo all crazy everywhere. But yeah, August, August-ish. So right before school, I'll be posting something about the big, big pop-up shop. I'm gonna have my bros in there working with me. They're gonna be all wearing push everything. Mm -hmm. Of course, all they push gear gonna be free. So yeah, y'all stay up there. Y'all come see me. Y'all stay up there with my social media. Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm everywhere. I don't have no Facebook, no MySpace. Definitely, man. Now, do you have a specific um, target audience? A age range? I'm all for everybody. All right. But my target is you. Mm -hmm. I love the you. When I was coming up, I, I ain't asked questions, so I, I I learned the hard way. That's why. That's probably kind of why I'm not, you know, doing what I really love to do. Mm -hmm. But I'm still doing something I love to do. But if I'd have been a you guy with someone that could talk to me and get me ready for the real world, 
Everybody know I'm most definitely being a lead right now, making big millions. But God got plans for everybody, and this is my plan right here, and I'm gonna run with it. Definitely, man. Baby, push network. Any last words for the people, man? Checking out with my bros, my day ones, right here. Shout out to you for having me today too, for sure, bro. No problem, man. Sure Appreciate I keep it. You in touch? I'm gonna make sure I help your brand build. So if y'all guys looking for video shoots. Pictures, y'all need interviews, y'all need help to build y'all brand for you know for a nice cost. Y'all can contact my brother. I'm gonna put all this information at the bottom of this interview. Definitely. So y'all make sure y'all click click that button with his name on there. We'll check out all his work. Y'all come see me. I'll make sure I lead y'all to him. We're gonna work. Definitely man, baby. Push network, man, pop up shop right before school in August. Binders, backpacks, everything. Come get your clothes right now, man. A good price.